Hey YouTube, so here's the next project for the Z06. As you can see, it's uh, going to be a brake job, uh, rotors and pads. Uh, my stock rotors and pads are getting pretty worn out, especially the rotors. I believe they only have like a half a millimeter left until they reach the minimum thickness. And there's still, I believe, the OEM uh, pads on there as well. Uh, I bought the car with about 25,000 miles on it and um, it may have had a brake job, at least the pads at some point. The pads probably about half thickness, uh, but I decided to upgrade uh, everything I want. Usually you should do pads with uh, performance rotors anyways, um, just to make sure they bed together really well and last you know, a little bit longer due to that fact. Um, the fronts here you can see are two piece and the rears are one piece. Uh, I went with uh, DBA, Disc Brakes Australia. Uh, for my rotors. Um, long story short, I had ordered the Coleman rotors um, from Zip Corvette. Those are the really lightweight ones. Front and back are both two-piece. I believe they save about seven or eight pounds in the front each and about five or six in the back. Uh, I had actually ordered them about three months ago and they were on the rear ones with the parking brake provision, the little uh, hub in, inside where the parking brake shoe goes against. We have been back ordered forever. And that combined with a couple other reasons, I decided not to go with them. Uh, number one was the price. Uh, they ran about 1700 bucks for four rotors. Um, you get the weight savings out of them, so there's nothing wrong with them and, and they have nice you know, aluminum hats and such. Um, I, I was really attracted to the, to the weight savings. <clears throat> But at the end of the day, just being frustrated from waiting and the fact that they, they cost as much as they did, it kind of makes you think when you have something back ordered and you do you really want to spend that much money. Uh, these were about 45% less, you know, than, than those. These were about 900 and some bucks for the front and back. The fronts are the DBA 5000 T3 spec and the rears are the DBA 4000 just in case you're interested. <clears throat> the two nice things about these other than the price is one. Uh, the second nice thing over the Coleman's with these is um, the, the painting that's done on them and the rust protection. On the Coleman's the only thing that was painted was the center hat. The rest of the, the rotor, uh, the, the sides and the inside and the, and the outside edges were all bare iron and steel. So a lot of guys online complain about the rusting that can happen in certain areas of those if you don't paint or, or uh, protect them <clears throat> uh, on your own first because they come pretty much bare. Um, these you can see, they have the black paint on the hub, on the hat part, uh, front and back, and then also on the edges all around the veins inside all the way through and the edges themselves have the back black paint protective paint on them from dba which i really like um the, sw the swipe area of the pads on these rotors is not going to be quite as large as what you see here um so i'm gonna actually later in this video i'm gonna tape off uh part of the the rotor surface and i'm gonna put like a clear engine enamel on it. I don't want to paint them black. Sometimes I think that turns out a little cheesy. So I'm just going to do a clear over it just to inhibit the rust as much as I can uh, towards the inside of the, the rotor surface. I also got Power Stop Extreme Z26 pads. These come highly recommended uh, from what I've read. They stop just as good as the factory ones. Maybe a touch less uh, a grip and in initial bite, but, they, but overall I've, I've heard they stop just as well. Uh, they're actually cheaper than the OEM pads too. OEM Z06 pads are crazy expensive for some reason. Uh, they they have carbon fiber in them, and um, they are they. The, the other thing that I really like about them, other than the price, is that they are supposedly dust little to none at all. Uh, the OEM rotors and pads, uh, as you guys know, those pads are really really harsh, and the dust is crazy. I have nice new black Ford Star wheels from last year. I'd really like to keep them clean and keep the corrosion of the brake uh, pad dust off of them as much as I can. And I'm, I'm kind of lazy that way too. I like to keep my cars clean, but cleaning wheels is not something I enjoy. So hopefully these pads uh, help out with, with that as well. So 
First thing we're going to do here is clean up these rotors. Uh, they have a little bit of oil on them from DBA just to obviously inhibit any rust from them during storage and shipping. So we're going to get these cleaned up. So cleaning these up is a pretty simple process, guys. Uh, I'm going to do two steps. Um, I'm going to start with some simple brake cleaner, of course, and clean off the uh, rotor surfaces uh, really well. And then we're going to switch to just a soap and water to really get everything out of there. So I'm going to start doing that uh, front and back. Just start with one here to show. Just use a simple towel. Nice thing about the brake cleaner is it evaporates really quickly. I went with the uh, slotted rotors, as you can see, of course, uh, the stock ones. Stock rotors come uh, with the uh, cross-drilled holes, which I didn't really want. So if I ever do decide to track the car, I can keep these on the car and then just swap out pads to a better compound. We're going to finish up the front side here on all four and then switch to the back. All right, we got all the rotors cleaned with a brake cleaner. That's phase one and the second phase is uh, just using some mild soap and water. Apparently this helps get the remaining contaminants off that the brake cleaner doesn't get to. Uh, it might be overkill, but I read about it just like everything else I learned about my car I read online. So we're just going to give it just a little bit of with a mild brush go around the outside and just scrub down this the face especially of the rotor and then I'll wipe it off with a uh, paper towel and make sure it comes out clean okay so all the rotors are nice and cleaned up and uh, dry now uh, so the next phase of this project is to basically put some clear on these new rotors where the pads are not going to make contact so even though these rotors are nice you can kind of see the nice edge i was talking before about how you know it has some nice black paint that'll uh, pretty much prevent rust hopefully for a long time uh, but really when you take a closer look at uh, the, the white pattern on the car i'm going to move over here to show the front rotor for example you can see where the pads wore onto the to the rotor if you take a measurement of that and you come over to the new rotors this is the rear so i did the same thing for the rear the white pattern is not as wide as this finished or raw part of the rotor so i took a measurement it's gonna be kind of hard to see here but i just made a little mark this is my little uh, measurement tool here my fancy dancy tool so basically if i line this up from the edge of the rotor to the edge of the paper you can see there's probably about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch maybe a little less of the raw rotor still showing on the surface so what I want to do is mask off this part here and leave this inside strip I'll straighten this out again leave this little inside strip right there exposed and then I'm gonna mask kind of on the inside here with some tape. I'll show it to you when I'm done so you can, you can have an idea of what I'm doing. So basically I'm going to clear coat this strip on the inside so this part that's going to be exposed that's not going to be wiped by the rotor pads uh, doesn't rust at all or discolor. So I'm going to get this masked off and then show you the end result of the masking uh, right before we do the spray. So I'm halfway done masking. You can get in a good idea now of what my goal here was. So I got the uh, rotor pad uh, sorry, the rotor surface masked off. Uh, I just need to do the hub yet. So if I zoom in here a little bit, you can kind of see what I'm ending up with is that nice strip along the inside edge of the rotor uh, surface itself. Then I'm going to end up spraying clear to prevent that rust. So I'm going to finish off the hub, uh, masking that off, and then I'll show you that, and then that'll be it. Okay, masking is completely done now. Uh, just have the exposed little strip and then inner black part. Um, I probably could have left the uh, masking off the top here and just cleared the uh, the hat part too. You can't see most of it anyways, but it's got a nice uh, finish on it from DBA and it really doesn't need a clear and I didn't want to you know, have any orange peel or anything like that that you could see in a reflection or whatever. I know that sounds really anal, but 
Um, it's already painted, so there was no really reason to, to try to cover that up again. Um, and I'm doing clear because um, I didn't want to really extend this black up onto the rotor, the flat rotor face either. That might look a little, I don't know, amateurish. So by doing clear, <clears throat> I'll still get the protection, but it'll have a nice line uh, and not change the way it looked right from DBA. So uh, I just got to do this for the other three and then I'll get to spraying. All right, all the clear is laid down. I'm gonna to try to show, hopefully this shows up, the little strip you can see that was sprayed where the pads aren't gonna make contact and that'll keep the rust away. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, the masking tape worked really well and it's, uh, it's a pretty solid, I put four total coats on there. It's a pretty solid uh, cover on, covering over the rotors. So I think it'll last a long time, but um, just, just, it's mostly just for aesthetics, just to keep that rust away where the, the pads aren't going to touch. So. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I pop the cap off the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, you can see it is like plumb full. So, uh, when I push the pistons back in the calipers, I don't want any of that, uh, overflowing or anything. So I've got some rags around it and I'm going to actually use this little, uh, baster that I use to change my clutch fluid to t suck some of that out. Obviously you don't want to suck it uh, all out. You want to keep some of it in there so you don't want it to run dry. Just suck a little bit of it out and then after the uh, rotors and pads are changed I'll top it off with fresh fluid. Alright I'm going to start in the back here first. Uh, they're actually the harder ones to do. In the front I can turn the wheels and get better access to these caliper bolts but looking at the back of the caliper here's the two bolts. The lower one and the upper one. Like I said 125-130 foot-pounds so uh, it's tough to get leverage on it. I got a big breaker bar and I'm going to lay on my back and try to get these guys loose. Uh, I'm going to try my torque, my impact wrench first. Hopefully that works. Otherwise I'll just use a breaker bar. But basically just get these off and then rest the caliper on my handy bucket here so there's no pressure on the line and then I can get the caliper off and the rotor off. Alright guys, caliper's off. I am super super impressed by this little Milwaukee. Uh, it's only the 3 8 uh, medium power one. It's only got 210 foot pounds. I say only but it zipped these caliper bolts off and I had these off a couple weeks ago and I torqued them back to at least 130 foot pounds and put some more Loctite on them and this thing zipped it off like nothing so really great investment. Okay I got the old pads out and the pistons pushed in I think as far as they'll go and I got the New pads, the back of them greased, so I'm just gonna throw these in and go from there. Okay, new pads went in really easy. I just reused these clips. Um, Power Stop sends new ones, but the factory ones are just fine. May as well not mess with them. Um, you just put the pads in kind of from the back side and push up on those, those little two prongs that hold each one in. Um, just push up on that a little bit and put them around the guide pins and they just fall right in kind of so that's what they look like installed I'm gonna get the uh, get the rotor put on and then we can get the caliper back together also just for reference I uh, used a wire brush and cleaned up the hub a little bit where it's gonna meet with the new back of the new brake rotor just to make sure there's a clean surface and put a couple dabs of anti-seize on there too a little bit of overkill but um, just good preventative maintenance for next time you gotta do this Getting ready to put the caliber back on. Uh, I got the rotor on. Looks nice and clean. You got to push on a little bit to make sure it gets the hub gets over the uh, uh, parking brake shoe, of course. Make sure that's fully seated, which it is now. Uh, getting ready to put the caliber back on, like I said, and I uh, took a wire brush and uh, cleaned up these bolts, caliper bolts, a little bit, and put a dab of blue Loctite on. So once I get the caliper mounted, it'll be ready to put on. All right guys, there it is. Uh, I didn't torque the caliper bolts down yet, but get an idea of what it looks like. And I still gotta finish cleaning up that nasty caliper. I didn't do that yet, but I uh, went back together real easy. Um, I had the caliper uh, pistons pushed back far enough that um, it slid right over really easy. So 
Uh, not bad for the first one. I'm going to torque the uh, bolts down and that's pretty much the process. Uh, other than just some cleaning in the wheel well and such like that, um, it's pretty easy. Just uh, don't forget to put the grease on the back of the uh, pads. Hopefully I don't have any squealing. Uh, it's always kind of a hope thing. You never know for sure until you do it. But um, first brake job, job I've really done in a car, uh, including this one. So all in all with the monoblock caliper and only two bolts, it's a pretty easy job. And I consider myself a novice. So uh, if you haven't done it or you have a brake job coming up, uh, don't be afraid to do it. Uh, there's a lot of other good videos on online too. I haven't done anything different than those really. Uh, just don't forget the grease and uh, undo your parking brake before you start. A little anti-seize on the back of the rotor or on the hub and get one of these nice caliper spreaders uh, for the pistons or you can use a C-clamp too and get some get some good rotors and pads. That's about it.